Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. This is the Think Bamboo podcast. Uh, my name is JJ, I'm your host, and today we have a guest from Guatemala once again. Welcome, Juan Pablo Martinez. Hello, everyone from around Google the world. Bamboo it's a Guatemala. pleasure to be Welcome, here with my friend JJ, and uh, let's discuss bamboo and spread the word. Yes, thank you again for joining. Uh, we previously had a, a, one of the very early podcasts. Um, we met in Germany at the Bamboo um, Expo, and um, you had some very um, um, insightful uh, presentations with numbers. And um, right now we're going to talk about that. It's, it's three slides which you shared, and I thought they were really, really um, uh, highly um, uh, interesting. And of course, it's numbers, so people are going to uh, get uh, emotional about, oh, it's too high, it's too low. Bamboo grows faster, bamboo grows slower, right? Uh, but uh, I mean, it's it's it does help to get an understanding, and that's why I think it's it's really valuable. So um, let's let's get this um, presentation. We have it here, um, over there. Here we go. So um, Juan Pablo, maybe yes, um, yes I see, I he, you I can, see it very you well. Do uh, you see the screen? Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. So, um, I mean, this is, this is a beauty what you did here. So, um, basically this is what, what one hectare of, of bamboo. Normally this is for giant Guadua bamboo. The, or, this or, number or giant are bamboo. applied um, normally for dendrocalamus aspera. Okay. Okay, that's important. That's a very important thing because that's the fastest growing bamboo and the yeah, it may it uh, may the, not the, be the, the winter, fastest grower, speed. but it may be <laughs> one of the, 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 the ones that get the most uh, mass over time, because there are some that that grow one meter and a half per day, and asper it may mm -hmm. grow like twenty centimeters a day, but the 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 columns are so wide that the quantity of material that it's putting up, it's more uh, in, in, in weight mm -hmm. than any other, maybe. But there are other dendrocalamus that grow very, very uh, fast as well, and they are larger, okay. like the dendrocalamus giganteus or the dendrocalamus uh, cynicus. Those are even bigger. Cynicus, yeah. Even bigger. But I mean, if if we uh, dive into your numbers here, so um, we have. <laughs> Uh, what are what are you calculating per hectare? About three hundred and something bamboo plants per 100. hectare, right? Yes. Or how many plants? One hundred. Yes. Okay, so it's one hundred uh, uh, dendrocalamus yes. per one hectare, which is hundred by hundred meters. Um, and um, you're yes. calculating here one hundred and twenty tons of carbon, which is sequestered into the soil. Basically into the roots and yes, the, yes, the it, bamboo yeah. uh, the shoots. Bamboo, the, so the, 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 the capacity for the bamboo for carbon sequestration, uh, it's not only on the roots and the combs and the leaves, but also on the soil. The thing about uh, the, the, the bamboo plantation is that it takes the carbon from the atmosphere and it uses it to grow its own plant, its own roots, and also it lets it lets it go into the into the soil so whenever you are going to take into account the numbers of the carbon sequestration of a bamboo plantation you have to measure as well the soil around your your uh, your plant mm -hmm. before planting it and after planting it because there are going to be very interesting numbers on the carbon sequestered on the soil uh, Juan Pablo when you say the soil um I, I assume you mean the, the all the microorganism, all that life um, uh, yes. e e existing uh, around yes. the bamboo, yes. right? Which is absorbing carbon. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's to be <laughs> to, to explain that. Um, so um, that's a lot of of carbon, of course. Um, and um, you have the second product, food for one family and seven goats. Um, so that would be the baby, the, the, I, I, the, I would the like, shoots, uh, right? To, to add something or, um, about yeah, the, the first product, 
before moving out to the second one. Um, regarding the 120 mm -hmm. tons of carbon sequestered per Please. hectare, um, yes, it's for Dendrocalamus asper, and yes, it's a high mm -hmm. number. But um, last week I was I was on a, on a plantation and I saw uh, I have a video I can share it with you. Uh, I think I, I have shared it with you. Uh, I saw a, a bamboo Dendrocalamus asper mm -hmm. plant with 20 new combs in one year. You know, each one of those combs, they may weigh up to uh, 200 pounds or a little bit more when they, they, are, they are full grown up. That means that only those, only, only those, uh, those mm -hmm. uh, uh, combs, the new ones, are going to account for two tons of new material that the plant is growing. So that's a lot. That's uh, the, the the quantities are incredible. Of course, that bamboo was a planted on a very volcanic good land, and that 800 meters from the from the uh, from the sea level. So those may be the best conditions for that bamboo and it's over yep. 100 and if if every one of those plants were like that the number would be over 120 tons per hectare so that depends the number it's a, a it's a, a an approximate number uh, uh we, we could say it's um 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 a promedio it's a median no it's number uh, it's a, from a median. very good plantations and median. also with yeah. very bad plantations. Uh, some of the, the, the plants uh, that are not taking care uh, of mm -hmm. very well, they may give off some four to five or six combs each year. So that lowers the, the, the production and, uh, and uh, carbon sequestration. Mm -hmm. So those numbers, you have to check on the quality of the soil. If the quality is not very good, you have to improve it. You have to, if you have, don't have enough uh, irrigation uh, from rain, you have to irrigate and uh, maybe you will have to fertilize. It's better with pokashi or, or natural things like that. But you have to take care of your plant in order for it to give the best it can give. So those not are not the best numbers that there are on the world, but they are a, a they are good numbers, but you have to achieve those good numbers through taking care of your plants and your plantation. Absolutely. And, and that's the tricky part, talking about numbers, right? And that's why some people get upset, some people get uh, emotional and all that, because yes. it's not black and white. There are a lot of factors there. There's so many factors that um, uh, some people might not even like to talk about numbers, because it varies so much. But at the end, we need to talk about numbers because everything uh, we're building is kind of yes. new and we need to start Absolutely. with something. Absolutely. And this can and be improved over time. That, um, <laughs> yes, yeah. you can achieve those numbers. But if you want to plant on Oregon, on the United States, you can be absolutely sure that you are not going to get those numbers. So... This is giant bamboo, and the giant bamboo grows on the yeah, tropics. So yeah. if you wish, if you, if you wish to to get these numbers or better, you should come down to Guatemala. We should have a meeting, and we should go and take a look on the land that we have ready to plant bamboo in Guatemala, in Mexico, and all over Central America. This is where it it's uh, affordable and uh, intelligent to grow bamboo and to invest in bamboo growing. So um, that's the first product, which is also highly um, actual now because everybody is talking about carbon sequestration and all that. But bamboo is absolutely not limited to just carbon sequestration. It's just one of the many products yes. which uh, uh, bamboo uh, produces ongoing, right? So the, the second product is actually food. So we're talking about um, um, obtaining food directly from bamboo, and um, I understand. And, and please correct me if I'm, yes, I'm uh, wrong. Yes, uh, this is the, the, the baby, the shoots. On my, on my, on the my second slides, product. it's not just the, the 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 shoots to eat, 
um, mainly the second product of each hectare, uh, uh, it's about the agroforestry. Because if you check on my uh, on my my project, um, the the way that we are planting bamboo, it's in an agroforestry system. Um, you know that we are using a 10 by 10 meter uh, um, uh, format to plant in the, ba the bamboo. So there's a lot of land in between. Planting, so we are uh, using the land yeah. in between to put mm -hmm. local and dense space. species yeah. and also uh, species that are food for people and for their animals or their livestock. So you can have food security whenever you're taking care of the bamboo plantation so you can of course you can you can you could you uh, use the, the the shoots to eat them but maybe the best uh, food that you're going to get on our bamboo forests is not the bamboo shoots but it's the products coming out of the agroforestry system that we design for each plantation I understand. So um, it's an indirect um, um, product. It could be that the goats eat the leaves or eat the, the, the small uh, bamboo um, um, branches, right? And, and, um, and, and then you eat yes, the goat you cheese. Can or, eat the goats. Or, or you can eat the, 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 the milk. Or you, you eat can the goats. Eat the cheese. And also, for example, you can have uh, <laughs> uh, plantains uh, planted there, bananas yeah. and, and juca. Yeah and some other some other uh, uh trees uh, fruit trees uh let's say that. like a jackfruit jackfruit and, jackfruit has a very high production rate and the quality of the of the food it produces the fruit is very uh is very nutritive so you can have some super foods grown in between of your 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 bamboo That's hectare true. and make your agroforestry system that is going to support a lot of people, including you, and also you're going to have excesses that you can sell to the market. So there are a lot of a lot of benefits of growing bamboo because you can use you, you will do it on a agroforestry system. So it's better for everybody. So maybe here just to explain that yes. theoretically you could plant bamboo uh, six by six, so, so every six meters. And, and what Juan Pablo is doing is planting every t 10 meters. So he's leaving space to plant other crops within the bamboo to, to use, for example, the bamboo does um, help um, to um, store water. It, it helps to um, have a, a constant climate and all that. And that helps to, to grow that other crops within the bamboo. So um, it's um, the, the second products are mostly what I understand what you're focusing here are indirect um, um, bamboo products, but are at the end, it's, it's, it's a result from mm -hmm. the bamboo, but it's indirect. Direct would be the bamboo shoots or the bamboo leaf, which would be directly Monopoly. from the bamboo. Um, but it's, it's super interesting because it just shows how, how wide um, that um, just the second product is which you're um, uh, visualizing here. It's, it's super wide, you know? Um, yeah. And I think if you just look yeah. at the slide like yeah, that, it's, it's not clear you know, the, the, what's all in there. Not, uh, I'm not so uh, it's, saying, it's, uh, I'm not talking about directly the bamboo production. I am, a, I am talking about the hectare production. So we're looking at each hectare, each patch of land of 100 course, by yeah. 100 meters is going to be able to produce this for people and for the owners. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's, that's it's, it's a very, I, I like the approach because it, it helps really to, to see. Um, we could do another slide where we show all the results, you know, beside the bamboo, the water, the climate, all that, where you have all your crops, yeah. your cacao, your yucca, the banana, and all that. Um, that's another another slide, but let's focus on what you have here because it's already very uh, interesting. So the third product are uh, 388 daily wages. So that's people probably who who um, are working there. Um, I, uh, why 388? Took the number from my my own plantation, and I saw how <laughs> much time and how much labor I need from planting bamboo and taking care of the bamboo and harvesting bamboo and curing bamboo and i'm going to 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 need 
to pay 388 daily wages in order for that uh, plantation to be able to produce uh, the, 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 on, on the maximum side. On, on the, whenever you're going to care very well for your plantation, you're going to need to pay each year 388 daily wages. That, that means uh, one full, uh, maybe around one and a half employees per hectare. In order, in order to get the best out of it. Okay, okay, that's that's understandable. So there, the the benefit obviously is you you create work, um, uh, local work. So that's uh, the benefit, of course. The first product is interesting. Um, how you calculated that? So that's nineteen yes. cubic meters of of wood yes. of bamboo, bamboo wood, right? Is or is it specific because, uh, wood? That uh, that number came out of uh, whenever okay. you harvest okay. one bamboo pole, and uh, then you 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 have to to choose which part you're going mm -hmm. to use for wood, because uh, the the basal part uh, is uh, uh, so uh, very wide, and it doesn't fit on the machines used for producing wood. So the, the basal part, you're going to lose it, yeah. uh, not lose it, but you're not going to be able, able to use it for wood. Then after, yes, after uh, the 14 that, meter mark, things. more or less, you're going to have less than 10 millimeters on the wall side. So um, whatever on the apical side of the, of the bamboo comb, uh, it's going to be too thin to put through the machines. So with that part of the bamboo being the only one that you can use, and then mm -hmm. you're going to cut from the top of it on, on from the bottom part of it, because the bamboo, it's, um, it's a circle. So each one of the, of the slats are going to be semi-circular. Circular. So you're yep. going to have to cut the top part and the bottom part in order to mm -hmm. leave just a square slate of bamboo and mm -hmm. that square slate so have whenever flat. if you take mm -hmm. uh, uh the quantities of the of the mass that you're going to produce per each pole and you have 100 100 plants per hectare then you're going to have a certain quantity of bamboo wood mass and that accounts for around 19 cubic meters of wood if you take into account that each one of your 100, 100 plants are going to produce at least 10 poles per year so you you're going to have 1000 poles of uh, bamboo uh, per year and from each one of those you're going to take out a quantity of wood mm -hmm. that all added up together is going to produce for, uh, that's uh when you manage your plantation uh the best way you can if you don't manage it very well and you don't have 10 poles per plant per year and you have half of that then your fourth product number is going to be half of that so it depends on how do you manage your plantation but the, the, the mm -hmm. bamboo dendrocolymus asper has the potential to meet I, that mark or even exceed it. That's pretty uh, amazing, actually. And, and the, the fifth product you have here is a biochar. So uh, basically, um, uh, this would be like with the rest that you're not using for the wood you would produce biochar, right? So you would like recycle the parts you mentioned before, like the, 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 the comb at the bottom, which is pretty wide, too big, and, and the top part, which is uh, not, not so strong. And you would like slowly burn yeah, that, the, um, um, the idea like is the making following. carbon. Um, the parts of the, of the comb that you cannot use for wood, then uh, you're not going to, to, to waste it or to throw it away. You're going to mm -hmm. use it to produce uh, biochar, and why biochar? Some people may 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 use the the word that you used at this very moment is you're going to burn that bamboo, and that's not a correct uh, that's not a correct term because that bamboo is not going to be burned; it's going to be pyrolyzed. You're going to have to use a, a process called pyrolysis. To transform that wood into uh, uh, charcoal, 
and uh, the pyrolysis is whenever you put some organic matter through a sustained temperature without oxygen on the atmosphere, you're going to carbonize it. So you can carbonize uh, um, um, animal mm -hmm. uh, waste, you can carbonize uh, leaves, you can carbonize wood, you can carbonize whatever you would like to carbonize. It's, uh, it's uh, possible through pyrolysis. So you have to get to a certain temperature for a certain time, and then you're going to have your corn. The, the, the things that are uh, not only charcoal, um, whenever the pyrolysis is getting on its way, the, the material starts letting off biogas. Mm -hmm. So you can take that biogas, you have to scrub it to clean it, to take out the, the, the parts that are not combustible, and then you can use that that uh, that uh, gas if you wish mm -hmm. to produce more energy, or if you wish to put it down on your same uh, on the same kiln that you're using to produce your biochar in order to make it more efficient. So you're going to leave none of the biogas on the atmosphere, and you're going to leave none of the carbon on the atmosphere. It's a circular system whenever you use pyrolysis to produce carbon because everything is used on the inside and then you're going to have um, uh, wood vinegar and you're going to, to have tar, which are a couple of valuable products from bamboo and the pyrolysis process that, can, that you can use and sell as well. And it helps also to, to grow uh, uh, faster and better bamboo within the, yes. the growing the process. Bamboo. So it's again the, the whole circle there. Okay, so this is beautiful. This is pretty beautiful. Let's um, let's switch to the um, next slide, which um, yeah. you have here. So this is more about economics, but of course it's uh, highly interesting because uh, whatever we do, it has to work. We have to eat something. We have to pay our bills, and um, if we can show that. Uh, you can live and, and, and live well from bamboo, more people will start working with bamboo and um, things are going to change. So um, there again, this is based on one hectare yes. with 100 giant yes. bamboos planted, right? Okay. So we have one hectare. We have the number $2,900, I assume, um, calculated by 22 which 22 would be uh, what yeah. you assume you can yeah, harvest I know, for I know by that one There are plant, some right? numbers there that, that need, uh, need me to no? be present in order to explain them. Um, the uh, 2,900 uh, number on, for one hectare is the cost to establish one plantation in one hectare. Um, that 2,900 includes the, the bamboo plantation and the okay. agroforestry okay, system. Okay that goes with that. But if uh, uh, I, I designed the, the mm -hmm. name of one planting okay. unit, the planting unit being 22 hectares, whenever you have 22 hectares to plant, you're going to employ $63,800, dollars mm -hmm. 63, $63, you're going to use to plant two 22 hectares at 2,900 per hectare. And then that's the cost. That's the cost of, of making your plantation. Okay, so that's but the, the cost. beautiful that's thing investment. is that that includes okay, okay. the agroforestry okay. system and yeah. also the eco village with a couple of rooms to rent. So that in, if you have 22 hectares and you want mm -hmm. to live on your land, you can, that includes the cost of building the, 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 the eco village in, in which you can live on and also have a couple of rooms to rent for people that want to, to go around the world on the Wubu bamboo plantations, making the bamboo uh, circle of system tourist, tourism. So that's the idea. Uh, and of course, the, the later mm -hmm. numbers, the numbers mm -hmm. that you are going to receive after making your plantation and starting to, to get all those products, I didn't apply it into one, uh, into one uh, slide. I should have done. But 
normally the cubic meters of wood you're going to get around 900 us dollars per each one so it's going to be something around three hundred and eighty thousand dollars per planting unit that you're going to receive back of course you have to take care of the daily wages and other costs including the sixty three thousand dollars that that is uh mentioned in this plan initial investment yeah Wow, so the big number um, is, is um, not there yet, which is like the one that you mentioned now. But um, okay, so I understand it better now. It really helps if, yeah. you, if you explain it. And you see, we're, we have been talking now like 25 minutes and we're at slide number two. And it, it's really worth it because um, I think uh, your, your idea here, uh, how you present it is really worth um, um, thinking about it and uh, exploring it um because you've you've um you've used a lot of um a lot of uh, existing systems and ideas which uh, really uh, more people should think about it i mean we have we have the bamboo we have the carbon sequestration we have the food we have the daily ba wages we have space for 22 families which would mean every family has the equivalent of about one hectare yeah. of of um, yes, and, polyculture uh, uh, with the rough bamboo, numbers right? would be as i told Space. you maybe three hundred and eighty thousand dollars for the bamboo wood but of course you're not going to take out your 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 bamboo comb and uh, then you're going to have the wood like right away uh, there without more yeah. investment of course this investment is for the plantation and the agroforestry system exactly. and your eco village but if you wish to make wood, you have to set up a transformation plant for bamboo. And of course, for 22 hectares, you can establish a small one and you could produce the material needed to make wood. Why, why I do uh, say it like that? Because uh, you will going to need mm -hmm. a special press, very large press in order to take that material, which are the squared slats, and press it in order to produce wood and be able to sell it at $900 per cubic meter. So there's a lot of more investment in order to produce that. The numbers here were, were only to show the capacity of, of each hectare to produce materials. On the, on the, it's the same on the side of the biochar. You need a special uh, kiln in order to produce your 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 bio uh, your biochar you're going to need more or less uh, a kiln that is going to cost you around twenty five thousand mm -hmm. dollars that kiln is going to be uh, is going to be certified by us and also um, it can uh, get a second kind of carbon offset which are the carbon offsets that uh, some companies around the world are, are buying whenever you produce biochar and use it on land remediation. So if you use that biochar on the land, then you're going to get another benefit, which is over whatever this slide is showing. This slide is not showing the benefits of the, the carbon offsets that you're going to get if you get intelligent on each one of the steps you have to take in order to produce it but it's 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 interesting yeah. because it's a total holistic view which uh, you've designed here so it's not just a bamboo um, plantation or a, a, a touristic eco village it's it's it has everything so it's true holistic approach um yes you know, um, here we have um, a, that's with our goats that's really we are, interesting we have been discussing why the goats alone and the the milk they do produce is not a suitable business it's not a good business if you only have goats to produce milk because if you don't take care of the of the droppings of the of the goats the quality of the of the uh, bio fertilizers you can make out of the the goat droppings is very valuable and also, you can use all the males to produce meat. So, mm -hmm. if you don't take care of the droppings, if you don't take care of the males, and you don't take care of the of a very high tech 
um, uh, milk producing facility for your goats, your numbers are never going to be on the uh, on the black side. You are always going to be on the red side. So the new the world side. asks yeah. that we are holistic. You cannot have anything that is going to be wasted on your land. Uh, it's not just for Elon Musk and Tesla. It's for you as well. All the world is competing with you at this very moment. Even though if you're in Ecuador and one high mountain and you have 22 hectares of bamboo, if you wish to pay uh, to pay your bills, to be able to pay your bills, you have to be holistic. If not, you're wasting half of your business away. Absolutely. Absolutely. So um, this is something also we should uh, discuss further. Um, uh, in uh, other discussion and, and see how we can uh, break this down, uh, maybe. Um, but I think for now, this slide um, is, um, okay. is good. Let's, let's switch to the next one. That's good with you. So I like also this slide, which is the third slide, where um, basically yes. we have the first year where everything is still growing, obviously, and the year five, where um, basically we think or we believe that things yeah. should be already mature, most of the things, right? There are some exceptions, some fruit trees, which may take longer than five years, but um, most of the, the um, uh, yes. crops yes, all the, all the should be mature should and should be producing. On the first year, all your yucas, your plantains, your, your cacao, well, no, the cacao is going to take two years. But all the smaller, all the smaller food uh, plants should be uh, start yeah. producing from uh, the first year. Then the bamboo, depending on the on the on the conditions, on your soil, the and everything. Crops, yeah. After the third year, you're going to be able to start harvesting some of it. Maybe at at the beginnings uh, for small projects in uh, in uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, biochar. But later on, the fifth year, you are all, uh, you are already going to have wide combs uh, ready for harvest, and of course, on the seven to eight year, you are going to to start uh, arriving at your peak. Yeah. So this is also this is something um, which um, most people, I think. It's not black and white either, right? It depends again on on the soil, the climate, and all that. So um, I also have seen bamboos which uh, have grown very fast um, within three three years, and I've yep. seen other bamboos which have grown almost nothing which within three years. So uh, a terrible soil, um, terrible climate conditions also affects uh, the growth of uh, bamboo at the yep. end, um, less than other crops, but it does affect it too. Um, so it's something really to consider, and that's why I, I like um, that you, you focused on, on this uh, difference. So um, this is um, like in a business, actually, in a business plan, you, you have to do the same planning, right? In the first year, you're, you're building things, and the fifth year, yeah. your you're consolidation, and it, it's a total different business. And the same thing here. Um, um, so... Um, Again, maybe we can talk about um, the first year. So you say ideally is 20 plan planting units. Um, that would be the yes. That's, what was uh, one one uh, one planting unit four, is uh, 22 hectare. hectares of uh, of planting the the 20 planting units. Okay, so it's 400. That is, that would be pretty big uh, um, um, land actually. Um, in this example, right? But it's 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 a number. Um, so um, in five years, those four hundred and something hectares produced every year. Yeah, that's the every year number no, um, every year. Uh, yeah. carbon sequestration, or is it? Yes. Okay, so they produce. Fi that's every year, right? But from more or less from year five, it produces the fifty thousand tons. Yeah. Or it captures; it doesn't produce. It captures fifty thousand tons of carbon sequestration, um, which is a massive number, of course. Um, and the, the 
8,000, almost 500 cubic meters of bamboo wood, um, which is also pretty impressive. Um, but of course, bamboo wood, as you explained before, is a, is a process which uh, does need um, a lot of work. It's not just uh, the poles and that's it. You have to cut it. You have to cut the parts which are the, the most valuable for the bamboo wood. And at the end, those slats will be um, um, pressed together and glued together. And um, it's, it's, a, it's a big process. But it's bamboo wood at the end. So um, <laughs> it, has, uh, it has very good um, yeah. qualities actually also for building and um, yeah. And we need and we need the bamboo wood. There is not enough, or if we start it's, using consuming more bamboo wood, you know, there is there, not there's, enough bamboo. There's wrong right? number At that the, may uh, that may uh, <laughs> make you see this from a different perspective. Uh, of course, uh, eight thousand four hundred and fifty-two cubic meters of wood sounds like a lot, but you know what? If you reduce it. To to containers, yeah, it's going to be around two hundred containers. That's uh, yeah. but but you know, okay, but you, still if, a lot you remember, if you remember, if you remember the numbers but, that yeah. uh, Bamboo Logic uh, shared with us on the presentation in Dortmund, you are going to remember that they said that one of the biggest timber mm -hmm. buyers on Europe they buy ten thousand containers per year so so if we want if we want to yeah, uh, save yeah, the crazy. forest we're nowhere yet by using bamboo we need to have this 440 uh, um, uh, hectare which is going to be 20 planting units that Hectors. needs to be 50 times bigger so that's going to be around if if uh, let me wow. see if uh, fifty is uh, yes llega a dos mil yeah yeah fifty fifty times bigger so if you take uh, yeah and that's, that's just, just for the European market, market with one without client. the American market with or one the Chinese client. market so let's round it up to five hundred <laughs> yeah. hectares if you Fuck use fifty that. times that yeah. is going to be around twenty five thousand hectares of bamboo. Big bamboo, very well taken care of, just to attend this client in Europe. Just one client. So 20, 25,000 hectares is not that much as well. It's not that much because in uh, in uh, Brazil, there is the, the Itapaje uh, company that they, they, they shut their doors. But they made a 25,000 hectares plantation to feed their 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 um their uh, bamboo uh, bamboo um mass for for making uh, pulp pulp for making uh, paper that was the plant it was a, a huge plant the, the oh, biggest in the world paper but they yeah, yeah. have a twenty five thousand hectare plantation that it's already there and it's not being used right now so uh, of course it's not made up for wood it's not as Crazy. It's not a, the, the giant bamboo because the giant bamboo has a lot of lignin and less um, capacity to produce pulp. It would be the the yellow bambusa or, or the, the, or yellow the, the one green as well. The bambusa vulgari yeah. or the so bambusa vulgari the striata the, could be very good for producing ba the green, uh, wood yeah. pulp, um, uh, paper pulp. Striata, yeah. Pulp. The wrong bamboo for wood, but the, the, yeah. so the good the bamboo, bamboo for paper. There. But the thing is that they had some political issues and stuff like that, and they had to close down. It's very sad. Wow. Yeah. It's 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 okay, but um, so we know there is uh, a lot of potential, and um, those numbers here uh, give a good insight on um, what can be achieved with those twenty. Planting units, which are 400 and something um, hectares of bamboo, which at the end is just a very small uh, patch compared to what we actually would need just to feed yep. one client. Uh, yes, but the, uh, the beautiful yeah, thing right is now. that uh, <laughs> yeah. in, uh, yeah. just in Guatemala, it's, it's easy to get enough area to plant 25,000 hectares of bamboo. It's not 
that much. It's not that much of an area. It's around uh, the, the 25,000 hectares that uh, you take out two zeros is uh, two, uh, two, 250 square kilometers. It's not that much. That's uh, 20 by 20. No, it's mm -hmm. 20, 20, 20, less than 20 by, by 20. It's around uh, um, 12 by 12, more or less kilometers. It's not that much. It's, it's really, really not that much. You can mm -hmm. you can find uh, kilometers. Not in, in, in the, the beautiful thing is that yeah. uh, we chopped yeah. it down by uh, planting units. So whenever somebody has 22 hectares, then you can have one planting mm -hmm. unit because it's uh, the the numbers, the scale of the numbers and 22 hectares is mm -hmm. enough to to have a very small transformation plant there in the 22 hectares, and then you move your 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 processed or pre-processed bamboo mm -hmm. to your big concentration plant where you're going to produce wood and whatever. Yes, yes, that's good. But this, all of this has been planned planned on a way to make it modular. Mm -hmm. So everywhere you have 22 hectares, that's good. You can have a small yeah. transformation plant and then the, the logistics are very, very easy to move that production to a bigger transformation plant. And from there, you're going to ship out to your client on Europe or the States or whatever you wish to, sh to, to ship to. But you're going to have smaller transform transformation plants on each one of the planting units. I, I like the setup. Um, it, it gives some clarity. Um, obviously, there are still some uh, questions. And, um, but I think if we, if we focus on those three uh, screens, it does help to see um, uh, what um, can be done, what needs to be done, and um, what the results are. And five years results, I mean, this is uh, pretty impressive. Um, what did you say? 200, um, uh, 200 containers would be the 8,000 yeah, yeah. uh, cubic and meters. So that would be the, the biochar. That's well. a lot. I mean, it's a lot, but it's, it, it needs much more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. On top of that. Yeah. Wow. That's, I mean, that's really, uh, I, uh, again, Juan Pablo, amazing job with this presentation because it, you, you just gather so many numbers. Um, it, yeah. it helps to, um, to visualize this much better, I believe. And I'm sure uh, one or the other um, a viewer will, will now have yes. more clarity also regarding, uh, regarding this. And um, we'll add the entire, the, the three slide presentation on the blog post. So everybody can listen, look at the, at the podcast and again, um, understand um, hopefully this. And if they have any question, they yes. can contact you directly over the of, Bubu uh, Bamboo of, uh, website, of course. questions about a certain subject or something that they would like to see more of. Uh, we just arrange another, another with you, podcast with you. It would be a pleasure. Exactly. Exactly. Same here. Uh, always a pleasure to talk with you and, and, and see how um, you, you envision um, the bamboo uh, growth yes. um, because this the is same something page, you know. uh, I also truly care about. <laughs> so, so, absolutely, my friend. So, Juan Pablo, I think uh, we did the 45 minutes. Um, we're very good. Um, of I course, wish my you friend. a very let's nice day and, and week. Uh, and uh, let's uh, keep in contact. Have a great day yourself. And uh, hopefully, uh, I, uh, I, um, I uh, plan to get more information and uh, that your, your viewers ask for more information and we can, we can have another podcast soon.